Hacker here, and I am live, and I've got people popping in as we speak, smashing the like button. I posted a short a couple days ago about this box, and I'm like, who wants to see it? Who wants to see what's inside? Um, because I was planning to make a video and release it, but I just checked it today, and that's that short blew up. It's got like 10 or 11,000 plays, and everyone's like, we want to see what's in the box. We want to see what's in the box. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am here live to show you what is in the box. I took a quick peek, but I mean, I didn't take everything out, so it's gonna be a surprise for both of us of what's really in here. Um, and the box I took this out of, there was something else. And I, you know, I might give something back to one of you during this video, so make sure you pay attention. We got crabs in the chat from our zoo and zoo. What is up? Welcome to the stream. And we are gonna jump in this epic Germanium Mint box sent to me all the way from Poland, where the Germanium Mint is. And in full transparency, this is not a paid video. This is not an advertisement video. Um, this is uh, me showing you a gift that they sent. And they send me ti things time from, or they send me things uh, from time to time, that's what I was trying to say, to review and give my honest feedback, and I always give honest feedback, whether it's positive or negative. And, uh, you know, so they sent me something, but I'm not sure if this is gold and silver, or if it is. What do you guys think? Should we open it up and see what's in there? We got more people joining the, st the, the, the stack, the chat. We got Mad Stacker saying, great to see you. We got Constitutional Stacker. I love it saying smash that like button. We got Travy, Tracy Preston. Uh, we've got David Carlisle. Here's been for, here. Here, David. I'll spin my coffee around for you. There you go. Um, I guess let's get into this. Hit that like button if you want to see what's inside of this thing. And again, I had a short go out of control and people were raging. They wanted to see what was in here. So I guess, uh, oh, and Michael LeFew is here and he's been a member. Um, I'm sorry, Silver Miner is here. Uh, he's been a member for 27 months. So that is freaking mega. Uh, who else? We got a bunch of people. All right, you guys ready? Golden envelope. Everyone's been raging, wanted to see what's in this thing. Oh, mother of pearl. Okay, this box is sick. You know what? When I do the Mega Ga, maybe I'll send the, the next Mega Ga grand winner. Maybe I'll send it in this box. Oh, that would be crazy. What does it say? Dang, the presentation. Germania does not disappoint. You guys, one of the things I love about Germania Mint is the presentation. So I'm going to take a look at this real quick and make sure there's not a real name on here. Okay, there is a real name on the envelope, so let's get rid of that. Let's see. Okay. Uh, perfect. Here we go. Oh, so... Many of you know I've been in uh, Florida for like the last three months working on this hurricane. I work in a emergency management and going to disasters, and that's why I'm international stacker. And I, got, I take you guys around the world with me. So that's why this says happy holiday. There she is, Mrs. IS. That's so cool. She's got a candy cane as like her weapon and a Santa hat. And this card, guys, feels epic. Dear customers, partners, and friends, during this holiday season, we wish you hope, peace, and joy to soothe your nerves after an intense year and enthusiastically welcome 2023. And look, it's the whole Germania Mint team, or most of them. Very cool. Look at this card. Wow. I, I love Germania Mint. I just really do. All right, let's see what's in here. If you even got the grass. Okay, this... There's some Polish things in here, guys. Is anyone in the chat Polish? Is anyone in the chat Polish? Okay, I think I got a paper here that says, okay. Miad Lipoia. No, let me try this again. Miad Lipoi. This is Linden Honey. Hey, Gypsy Stacker. I have no clue what Linden is, guys. But this is Linden Honey. Must be something very popular in Poland. So we got that. Let's see what else. Oh, what is this? Do I have any Polish peeps in the chat? Let me know what we're looking at. Okay, this here. 
Um, is syrup Corzini? Spiced winter syrup? Thanks, Gypsy Stacker. What is this? Spiced winter syrup? Okay, let's keep going. And this is actually perfect, guys, because I'm back in Illinois. And, you know, some would say, well, winter is December. But in Illinois, the main winter is really in February. So this is perfect timing. We got some uh, gingerbread cookies, I think. Let me see. Handmade gingerbread cookies. We lost a left thumb, but it's okay. Very cool. Oh, what is this? You guys, this is epic. And see, this is really why I love Germania Mint. It seems more of like a personal touch family thing than like big business just trying to push out units. Like the fact that they would send this to me. Now, obviously, I'm a streamer, right? So that's one reason they would do that. But if you look at the card, this literally says, dear customers. So I've been a customer. I probably bought over 100 ounces of Germania Mint. Partners uh, and friends. I definitely am a friend. Um, so this means they sent this out to other customers and stuff. So that's freaking cool. Okay, this here is pa Paedita. Paedita? Paedita is a Sulewick, which is plum jam. Okay, very interesting. We got Herbata. What is this? Herbata Zamoa. Oh, it's winter tea. Oh, man. What else we got in here? I got a new gimbal, guys. Let me know if you like it. Everyone always yells at me for shaking stuff. And then we got... Uh, Masto Orzachowy, which is peanut butter. I guess I'm going to have to learn Polish if I'm going to the Germania Mint, guys. Anything else in here? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This makes me want to give something back to you. Should I give something back to you all? Who wants who wants to win something? Who wants to win something? Let's see what you guys think. Let me know in the chat. Get those likes up. And I think I might just give away something right this instant. Uh, something of mystery. So let's take this stuff out. Let's put this stuff over here. I'll wait for your response. And I'm going to pack this back in here. Because, you know, this is a cool backdrop, I think. Oh, there's the crabs. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, if you all know, from time to time, I give away prizes on my channel. And, hey, G Gibby's Treasures, welcome. Hey, cool cowboy. Colonel Cowboy, I should say. And um, I send them. Anyways, long story short, I got this back returned mill. I couldn't get in touch with the person who won it. So this is like from six months ago. I waited. Somebody won whatever's in here. I'm really not sure. I'm clueless what's in here. I'm guessing it's constitutional silver or coins. Anyways, this is a mystery prize. I'm going to give it away to one of you. None of us know what's in here. And I'm just going to let it be a shocker. I'm going to let it be a shocker, and hopefully you unbox it, and there's $10 million in there. Who knows? So I'm going to give this away to one of you, and let me think of the question. And remember, guys, um, it's going to be whoever is first, whoever is first on my screen, okay? Whoever is first on my screen, um, make sure top chat's on. Whoever is first on my screen is going to win this. Remember, your screen is going to show you doing it first. It's going to show you doing it first um, because your latency is low on your side, but it's actually whoever makes it through to my side, okay? So with that little disclaimer, I'm going to ask a question. And, you know, generally I'll ask, like, what was the name of my camel? Daisy, you know, or what do I say at the end of the video? CYO, T and O, catch you on the next, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm going to ask a question that any of you can get. And um, I'll, whoever wins this, I'll send it to you anywhere in the world. Um, obviously, as long as you don't live in, like, Russia or Iran or places I can't send it to. Yeah, Yankee, this was found in Joe Biden's garage. That, no, I'm kidding. All right, so here is the question. Prepare yourselves. First person to get this is going to win this. What is... What is... 100 plus 50. What is 100 plus 50? 
Let's see who's going to get this complicated question. Who's going to get it first? I'm watching. Oh, so many right answers rolling in. And on my screen, it shows first Mad Hatter, 1891. Mad Hatter, 1891. Congratulations. Email me at internationalstacker at gmail.com. And I'm going to get this out to you. Remember, somebody won this and it got returned to me in the mail. I couldn't find him, couldn't track him down. So I'm clueless what's in here, but there's a coin there. There's a coin there. There's a coin there. Might be a crustacean clock. So I'm clueless what's in here. So Mad Hatter, email me internationalstacker at gmail.com. And when you unbox this, um, please send me a message back and let me know what's in here because I'm curious. So that's for Mad Hatter. Um, and I wanted to just show you guys my new setup. I'm working on my new setup. I moved. I moved locations. So I'm starting to bring out a lot of the very cool poured silver. Got my crab. If you remember, we make the crab burp silver sometimes. So here's some very, very cool uh, poured silver. Here's some very cool Germania mint stuff. Look at this, guys. There's only, I think, 500 of these. Uh, Germania mint stuff. We got this puppy here. <laughs> They're saying Mad Hatter's a bot. That's funny. Oh, man. Look at all this stuff. Look at this, guys. The ancient crustacean. Look at that. This is one of my favorite uh, international silver coins. It's a Balboa. It's from Panama. I have a bunch of those. You guys know. Look at this. This is German. Five marks. I mean, there's so many cool little... Thanks, Def Not a Bot says 1890, Mad Hatter 1891, that's funny. What do you guys know about the Kilo Stacker? Look at that, okay, let me come around here. Kilo, guys. I bought this from uh, the South Korean Mint. And it's a stacker, so if you have multiple, you can stack them because it's like concave in the back and not in the front. Martin Harris saying, what up, Martin? We just gave away some silver. Look at this. I got a whole bunch of these. I got these. You know, obviously, these are worn down, guys, but I got these under spot, so I was like, YOLO. So um, I forget how much exactly that is there. Look at this. This is from the Hawaiian Mint. Kala. Koe Koe. I think that's how you say that. Kala Koe Koe. We got Noah's Ark here. You know, got to get the animals in there. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh, it's two shillings from 1940, and it's from the British Empire. Probably Britain or some sort. Ooh, this is cool. If And I bought these with you guys live in Ireland. This is... Uh, from Ireland, and you see it says Erie. This is a special uh, coin, 1966, to commemorate the Easter Rising. And these are pretty rare, and I got a handful of these. And the reason these are rare, I forget how many they made. I feel like it was 56,000 or 56 mil. I don't know, it was 56 something. But a bunch of them got melted down because it wasn't popular at all. And maybe politically it wasn't popular, I don't know. What we got here, look at this. Look at the toning on her. Yeah, the queen, she's no more. Oh, real question. Have any coins come out with the king on it? The new king? Look at this, guys. It's like a indie coin. Southeast Indies or something. Let's see. It's Netherlands. 1941, one-fourth guild, guilder. Oh, the Sovereigns have his face on it. Okay. And I've been promising you guys, like, for years a video on this. I've just never gotten around to do it. This is the Liberty Dollar. And this is a guy who is trying to bring back real, or, you know, real money, which is gold and silver. And this is silver. Uh, he got in a lot of trouble, nearly went to prison, but then ended up just getting a slap on the wrist, but lost a lot of money. But he minted these himself and got in trouble, and here's why. Um, it looked too much like the real thing. It's got the USA on there, which you can't do. Trust in God and God we trust, you know, um, the denominations in US dollars. So, and it says $10 on it. 
so this is why this person got in trouble. And he could have literally gotten years in jail, but he probably had a good lawyer. I don't know. I've looked up. Johnson Matthew Bar. Cool little A mark. What do you guys think about these coins? I know some people hate them. Some people don't. Some They're controversial. The reason I have these is for the history of it, guys. If you don't remember history, uh, you're bound to repeat it. And someday I can show this to my kids. But first I have to find Mrs. IS first and talk about uh, how evil societies can be. Um, so what do you guys think about that? Do you think people should not have that in their stacks? And these are some of my favorite U.S. assay office. These were um, minted from the U.S. strategic uh, stockpile of silver. And if you know anything um, about the nuclear weapons program for the United States back with, what was it, Little Man and Fat Boy? Uh, not the Manhattan Project. What was that? Pro I forget what the project was called. But they actually melted down a lot of our silver to make what's called calutrons. So anyways, I think of stuff like that when I think of the strategic stockpile of silver. Ooh. Oh, we got Yankee stacking, dropping $4.99, saying fine to Mrs. IS. Now Yankee stacking in the house. Everyone say what's up to Yankee. Thank you for that. Um, and many of you don't know, Yankee actually wrote the um, national anthem for the Crustacean Nation. Um, so thank you for that, Yankee. And if you guys do are living under a shell, well, you should you probably all are because you're crustaceans. But if you don't pop your little head out ever and you don't know who Yankee Stacking is, make sure to go and check out his channel. You will not be disappointed. He's got epic videos. And look at this, guys. I really love these. And I've got a Yankee. I got like five of these at spot price not long ago. It was nuts. It was nuts. Colombian half dollars, United States of America. And these came out during the exhibition, the World Fair or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, Columbian Exposition, Chicago. Huh. I never realized it was in Chicago, and now I live in Illinois where Chicago is at. Look at that, 1893. So these are cool. If you ever get, if you ever get them close to spot, that's unbelievable. And... Okay, I want to show you guys something. Hold up. Hold up. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this walker? Or eagle, I mean, sorry. What do you guys think about this eagle? Tell me. What do you get? Yankee, what's... Yankee, does this look strange? What do you guys think? Does this look... Does this look strange? Thanks, Constitutional Silver. Yeah, it sure is fake. I got a stamp there, so I got a fake there. Here's another fake. It's scary. You see, I started stamping them fake. Uh, it's scary how uh, much fake silver is proliferating. And Morgans, this is a real Morgan, but Morgans are one of the most faked coins out there. So, you guys, you got to be very careful with buying Morgans. I don't even like buying Morgans unless it's from a super uh, reputable source. Uh, check out this. This is a pretty limited coin, actually. And I got this at spot price. Uh, Ruten, Rutenberg. Let's see. 1911. Pretty cool. Look at this big old boy. I bought this one from an LCS. If you remember, I met another stacker in uh, Michigan. Um, Lansing, Michigan. And I got... Was this in Lansing? I think this is in Lansing, Michigan. 20 Balboas. I mean, we all determined earlier we love the smaller Balboas, but look at this guy. I mean, this has got to be about five ounces, I would say, give or take five ounces. So that's pretty cool. It's crazy how I can remember where I got all this stuff at. Like, for instance, I can tell you this. Send it to me so I can get a closer look. All right, David, it's coming. It's coming. Um, I remember I got this during the beer, hashtag beer flu, and I got this in a... Uh, um, uh, Baltimore at LCS. You guys remember that parking lot deal? Oh, John W. Did somebody say mega, 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 mega. And this is from Saudi Arabia. It's a silver Saudi Arabian real. 
Yankee, do you have any, if you're still here, Yankee, do you have any uh, Saudi Arabian silver or gold? If not, I might have to rectify that. I really do love these coins. Um, these are Filipino coins, Filipinas. Um, yeah, Michael, a few dropping the mega imageries. And if you're a member like Michael, you get access to rare images. And Gibby's, look at Gibby's dropping the mega go. But I love these coins a lot. United States of America, wait, Philippines? Why does it say United States of America? Well, that's because we minted their silver for them. Uh, during that era, which was like World War II, after, after World War II. Well, actually, during and after. I'm not sure the year it started, so I'm sure someone can Google it. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, Yankee's here. Okay, Yankee, I'm going to send you... You know what, Yankee? Maybe we should do a project together, a stream or a video, and maybe I'll send you a surprise package and you can open it in live stream. And before you open it, you can wonder, is there Saudi Arabian silver in here or is it poop? Or is it lobster? It could be lobster. Maybe I'll send you lobster so we can both eat lobster together again. Um, this is an Englehard round, and these are somewhat rare. I got a good deal on this at a coin show, I believe, in Springfield, Illinois. And it says 1980. Do you guys want to see Yankee and I do a project together? What do you all think? Should we do a project together? Project Runway? Oh, Yankee, we could make clothes out of gold and silver then model them. <laughs> what do we got here? Just a little coin someone put a hole in. All right, Savage Stacker, thanks for stopping in. You little crustacean, great to see you. Oh, this looks Middle Eastern of some sort. Oh, this looks like it's Ottoman Empire. This looks Ottoman Empire era. If I was a betting man. Oh, John W. What do you know about Team Crab? I did a uh, treasure hunt with John W. and a few other people. And uh, this is Team Crab. I actually shot a video of it and then I corrupted the data and lost the video. But I recently just found part of the video. So I'm trying to edit it up so I can get that thing out. Uh, you guys, I have a problem. It's a good problem, I guess. I am backed up on content. I have so many videos. I just haven't had the time to edit them. Um, like I was even thinking about doing this video as a real video. I'm like, I just don't have time to edit it. I want to get a video out. Um, I have an edited video that's going to drop tomorrow. I'm talking about just kind of the, the, the state of things and what's going on and what I'm doing and how I'm trying to get ranch. Got this little alien head here. This one right here is from, uh, Spartan. Gold. Wait, what's his full name? Gold Spartan, Spartan gold, gold Spartan. He makes very, very cool stuff. Look at that. What is edit says, David? Same issues, I guess. My solution is coming. Yankee, I want to piggyback off your solution. I actually had another company like reach out to me and give me like a sample. Um, I don't know. I need to hire an editor. Who's the editor out there? Who wants to come work for the Crustacean Nation? I need a video editor. Uh, look at this guy. Three ounces. And what this is, guys, is this is the original, um, uh, uh, old silver. What is it? Silver bell? Original silver bra? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, this is uh, Sound Money Metals. When I met him, he gave me one of these. And this is how he first uh, developed his idea with the pinger. And if you don't have a silver pinger, it's only 20 bucks. It will save you from buying finks. You need it. Uh, there's a link in the description below, and I get like 55 cents if you buy it off my link. So help me get a Coke. Uh, oh, this is a cool one. Okay, here's two cool ones. Uh, these are from Monarch Precious Metals. Classics. Okay, I'll grab the Englehard next, but look at this. And then this is also Horus. You guys remember when I went to Egypt and we did all those live streams? Guys, I'm going to Poland soon. I'm talking to Germanium Mint. Bear flu is over. Things are calmed down. I'm setting up the Poland trip finally going to Germanium Mint. Yes, John W. screaming out Daisy. And John, oh, wait. Are you? If anyone's a member, drop some uh, Daisy images in the chat. That's where we first met Daisy. 
I literally live streamed for all of you riding a camel in the Egyptian desert. And it wasn't being led. Like I was legit riding it and directing it. And I was freaking trying to live stream at the same time. I'm pretty sure that was bad. John W. So Polish. He says he's, he's coming with me. Look at this. I got one of these at the fun show. I got that video coming soon. But this is a pretty rare MK bars uh, piece. Oh, the few dropping some camels. There, Gibby's dropped Daisy with the hearts. And I got this for like, I believe it was like 130 or 125 bucks for a rare limited edition piece like this. And the first one I bought was on Provident Metals. Provident Metals used to be my go-to. Um, back in the day, they had the best deals and sometimes Port Silver would go on sale. So I got one of these from there. And I saw the other one, one of my favorite coins of all time. Here's another coin of a video coming soon. I picked this up with Pirate Stacker. If you watch Pirate Stacker, put a, uh, um, what's piratey? Put an ARG in chat. I'm curious how many of you know him. But I got videos coming with him soon. Hey, Austrian Stacker. And I bought this one yen, 1887. You guys all know I really like the Japanese uh, silver and gold. As a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, hold up, feast your eyes, feast your eyes. Remember, I'm really trying to fill up that leather pouch. This is silver and gold Japanese bars. And I've had people say, you're not supposed to call them samurai money. It's samurai money, dang it. What else would they have paid with? Okay, so we do have some fans in here. Something occurred. What do you think of the socks today? Woo! Something occurred when I was in Florida. I broke... There's my claws. I broke in and took this hostage. What do you guys know about this? I took his two kilo bar of copper hostage. <laughs> Video's coming soon on that. You're going to enjoy that. Oh, and I'm starting to set up silver for the next Megaga. That's getting given away to one of you in the next Megaga. 10 ounces. Who wants that? Who wants that for free? It's coming to one of you. Let's go back in here. Man, I am backed up, guys. And I don't mean in the bathroom. I just mean I'm, <laughs> I am backed up with content. I got to get it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like I've been on a disaster or something for three months, right? It's like people's lives have been on the line. <laughs> but anyways, very cool stuff from Germania Mint. They sent me a care package. Um, and I'm going to have to taste test some of this stuff because, like, I'm going to go to Poland to Germania Mint. Maybe I'll find Mrs. IS there. And I'm going to have to be able to impress her with my um palette i guess um that's been developed for poland i'm gonna i'm just gonna pop this let's see should i take a shot of this guys i don't think it's alcoholic it just says winter syrup let me smell it Woo! oh man that smells like cinnamon and all right i'm just gonna put i'm i'm gonna just do a little bit we're gonna see what this tastes like Here, hold up Wow, it's good, it's very unique. Huh, anyways, I'm gonna have to get caught up on all this stuff and make sure I am ready um, for when I get out there. But thanks to Germania Mint for sending me that care package, pretty cool. Congratulations to Mad Hatter, I think his name was 1897. He won the mystery coins in that white paper. I don't even know what's in there. Um, but yeah, guys, I enjoy, enjoy doing videos, enjoy hanging out with you. And uh, if you saw my short advertising this coming, well, it's out now. Sorry it took me a little long to get it done. Um, but these are my first days off since I've been on that disaster. So I've been catching up on a lot of chores. Um, I guess it's good I don't have a Mrs. IS right now because, one, she would have been mad I was gone for so long. And, two, she'd probably have a list of 10,000 things for me to do around the house. So fortunately, I avoided that, but I've been getting stuff done that I needed to do. Oh, big shout out to Cheryl. Cheryl, I'm about to end. I'm about to end, Cheryl. But Cheryl's in the house. Good to see you. 
and welcome to to railroad stackers in the house and nick the ice pick and martin harris and michael lefew and john w david carlisle gibby matt hatter still around austrian stacker everyone's here our zuzu but thanks for watching guys and please smash the like button please go down there smash it and when i end this video if you could just throw a comment below not in the live chat but below just to help with the algorithm i would truly appreciate it and i guess i'll say first i'll say i've got a lot of amazing content and videos meeting multiple people coming soon and if you're watching and i haven't put your content out yet i'm sorry but it's coming and i guess i'll say Members, you have an emoji for this. Any members have this emoji? C Y O T N O. Catch you on the next one. Just another average stacker made me this. Spot stacker made me this. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. And thank you to all my crabs. Catch you on the next one. Woo! Mega, mega, mega. Mega, 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 m